For Panama Canal Transit, visibility is most important issue for container vessel. Panama Canal inspector will both and measure their visibility parameter and draft before transit. Here is the calculation sheet used by the Panama Canal inspector. Before transit inspection, we can insert our freshwater and saltwater draft and CBA, CBO for go to transit. Let's import sand figure and see changes upon visibility lens. With my experience, visibility lens is still be less than one is good to go, and greater than one can be probable fees of ten thousand dollars that owner will not be happy upon it. And need to know terms are CPH and CPO. CPA stand for critical point height from baseline to deck cargo and CPL stand for critical length from bridge to deck cargo. At the meantime, check in mass 3 loading program. The visibility is good for IMO and Panama Canal condition. For container vessels, stacking of container DR is critical and planner are to be notified in advance for kind of visibility. Additionally, and the well go menu, visibility, check limiting bay, from limiting bay to bridge is measured in general arrangement plan. This is how they measure CPH and CPR. Outside, better use the hard copy of general arrangement plan and ruler and then multiply by its scale. Here, one is to 300 millimeter. Another tax is to fill their respective Panamanian form, such as 4398 SIQD, 4510 Cargo Summary, and 1746 Blind Distance Calculation form. For deck load, that is on deck cargo, can be found in Statistic, Special Board, Panama Summary 2. Here is 7,125 metric ton. For cargo summary, uh, 4510 is here. Shade to PDF and it will give you the same as the outside form. Blind distance calculation can be get as the same as before. Have a safe and convenient transit. Thank you.